Okay then, welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video, All In Crypto here. And today we are going to be showing you guys how to set up a Polkadot web browser wallet, a web browser extension that will allow you to interact with the Polkadot ecosystem, some of the DeFi space, stake and do other things like that. And the wallet that we're going to be taking a look at, setting up and reviewing today is the Talisman wallet. Now, Talisman claims to be a user-friendly wallet built for Ethereum and Polkadot. So it's very handy to have uh, two kind of uh, networks converged in the one place. But we're going to be specifically looking at the Talisman wallet in regards to Polkadot, although there is Ethereum capabilities built into it. And the first place for me to start is to show you guys where you can actually download the Talisman browser extension. Um, so when I look to download wallets or when I look to find an official site on something, usually the best place for me to do that is Twitter. So this is a little tip actually that I think more people should be using. So I always use links from people's official Twitter spaces. And this is Talisman. I'm going to leave links to this in the descriptions. This is Talisman's actual Twitter account. And you can see down here, they have a link over to their website. And we're going to jump over to that website now. And you can see we have multi-chain made easy. Talisman is an ultra secure wallet that makes Web3 simple for beginners and unlocks superpowers for pros. And what you're going to do if you look or are looking to download the Talisman wallet is you're actually going to click this download wallet button and that is then going to start the process off so we're going to go ahead and do that so once you have uh clicked the download button download wallet button it's then going to take you over to chrome web store or whatever browser extension it is you are currently using and then we are going to go over to add to chrome at the top right here a pop-up will show up and it will say add Talisman, Ethereum and Polkadot Wallet. We're going to go ahead and click add extension. And then it should start the downloading process, which you will find over on the top right. Once that is completed, you will then be able to get started with your Talisman Wallet. So to locate your Talisman Wallet, you can see over on the top right here, I have a number of cryptocurrencies. You're actually going to scroll down and you're going to pin it so that you can find it easily and more readily uh, available. So you can see this on the top right. You're actually going to go ahead and pin it, and then you'll be able to uh, click the little drop down, uh, which of course we currently can't do due to the fact that we've not even started the wallet yet. So once you've done all that, once you've downloaded it, it's then going to bring you onto this screen. It's going to say Talisman supports Ethereum, Polkadot, and more. You're then going to go and click Get Started. So the first thing that it is going to ask you to do is to first let's set a password your password is used to unlock your wallet and is stored securely on your device we recommend 12 characters with uppercase and lowercase letters symbols and numbers so we're going to go ahead and do that so once you've correctly uh first of all thought of a password and then copied it down accurately twice do go and write that password down now i typically like to write all mine on papers in a diary or a notebook so that i have them stored and uh, easily accessible and typically not on a computer just in case that computer gets compromised so once you've done that you're going to go ahead and click continue it's then going to say manage your privacy and i am going to click no thanks. Then you are going to be faced with this screen and it is going to say add your first account. Now, if you are just looking to create a web browser wallet, you're going to go for the create a new account. If you already have an existing wallet and you know the password and the seed phrase, which is the uh, sometimes 12, 24, however many words it may be, then you can actually go ahead and import an account. Or, and this is why I've chosen and a real good feature of Talisman, they actually allow you to connect your ledger. So if you have a ledger device, you can connect it via going down the connect route. And we are going to, first of all, click new Polkadot account. We're then going to choose a name for this account. So we're going to call it Big Juicy P. And then we're going to go ahead and click create. 
Now it's going to pop up and say new recovery phrase. Protect your recovery phrase. Anyone who has it can access your wallet and funds. Write down your recovery phrase and store it in a secure location. If you lose your recovery phrase, you will lose access to all your funds. So we're going to click acknowledge and continue. Remember, this is a, a number of um, words that you are going to have to write down in order, make multiple copies of it and store it somewhere safe, preferably not on your computer, store it on a piece of paper in a notebook, somewhere like that, that you can keep very safe and not share uh, with anybody because this is ultimately your keys to the kingdom to your account so we're going to go ahead and click acknowledge and continue and it's then going to give you the option between 12 and 24 words now because we are only doing a demonstration what i'm going to do is only keep it on 12 but i would absolutely recommend everybody uses 24 words but for the purpose of this video I'm only going to be using 12. So just to interject here, guys, it is of the utmost important that you keep these very safe, that you don't share them with anyone um, and that you store them. My preferred method is on a piece of paper, copied multiple times, put in different locations, but that you can gain access to if needed. And once you've copied this, you're then going to go back and click, I have backed up my recovery phrase. Don't remind me anymore. And then you're going to go ahead and click verify recovery phrase. It's then going to ask you to put these numbers in order. So we're going to go ahead and actually do that. So once you have correctly put in order your um, seed phrase, you're then going to go ahead and click complete verification. And that is it done successfully. So we now have the account becoming created and it says, welcome, brave seeker. Your wallet has been forged in the fire of talisman. You're ready to get started and we're going to go ahead and click enter talisman where you'll come to the dashboard. Now, this is your account. You can see your account up here. This is all accounts. We're going to go ahead and click big GCP. And then you can send funds so you can send tokens. We're going to show you how to do that very quickly. It will pop up this drop down. And you'll need tokens in there to actually send. I'm sure you're all quite familiar with the send process. And if you want to receive tokens, what you're actually going to need to do is, so depending on what asset you're going to send, it's going to, it could, because the beautiful thing about Talisman is it actually allows you with Polkadot, it's, you know, you've got to think that all these chains are kind of their own layer one. So there's a lot of options. There's a lot of different chains on Polkadot. The beautiful thing about Talisman is it kind of correlates them all and kind of uh, makes them real simple. So if you want to actually receive Polkadot and actually fund your account, what you're going to want to do is actually click Polkadot. You're then going to go to the Polkadot asset and it's going to give you the option to either copy the address that you're going to be sending your Polkadot to or actually show the QR code and do it. Um, via, uh, you know, your mobile or, or, or whoever you're choosing um, to send it. So this is on your big juicy P, the account that we just set up. This is the Polkadot wallet. We can do this with uh, a number of others. So for example, let's say we want to send a Carla, very much the same uh, process in regards to going over here, copying the address and then using this address to send funds to the wallet. So this will bring up your portfolio. You can add as many accounts as you want. So let's just show you that feature. In much the same process that we set up a wallet, you can create a new one, you can import an existing one, like we could uh, remove this one and then um, it actually import it because we've actually created that account and it's now stored on the blockchain. Or you can connect your ledger and then you can choose whether you want a Polkadot or an Ethereum account. But the account we just set up is a Polkadot one. Let's go back to um, the dashboard and you can see this will outline your portfolio. And right now we've got no Dart and we've got no Kusama and it will give you the total value, what's locked, i.e. being staked and what is currently available. You do also have the option to buy crypto uh, and on what account. You obviously go ahead and choose the token. So there are limited options here. But once you do that, you put in the amount and you can click uh, continue and this will essentially allow you to buy crypto directly via this wallet. And it's going to do that through Ban Exa. It's going to bring you to this screen here and it's essentially going to require payment through a credit card. Now, I typically don't do this. I'll use exchanges to buy and then transfer over. But it is nice that Talisman do offer that option in regards to buying crypto. You then, of course, have staking. So if we click staking, 
what that's going to do is it's going to bring you over to a new talisman page which will already have your wallet connected you can see at the top right here the wallet is connected and then you're going to choose to stake whatever asset is you want and they kind of cut out middlemen if you're staking on a centralized exchange i think coinbase right now is offering about seven or nine percent on polka dot whereas with a uh, wallet such as this one you can actually go ahead and stake pretty much directly um, not just polka dot but multiple assets you can see they've got glimmer they've got the likes of eth with lido a star obviously vrr uh, a zero obviously kusama and polka dot and then you can also view the positions that you've already got staked it's a very handy uh, wallet on top of that you also have transport so you can actually swap from network to network so we could swap from polka dot to akala for example or whatever it is um, you also have an explorer so you can actually track your transactions you can see your wallet and what's been transacted to and from it you can actually take part in cloud lo crowd loans um, this is interesting but this is something that of course we're doing away with so i'm currently not partaking in any crowd loans but this dashboard and interface is a nice one if i do say so myself and then you've got the buy and you've got a history of what it is you've done and you'll access all that through clicking on staking and it'll open that portal i would always recommend and just to interject here very quickly whenever i use a software wallet i always have a hardware wallet connected to it so whenever i use a browser extension wallet i will always look for ledger support so that i can guarantee that extra level of security and that extra step typically i don't hold any kind of funds on just a software wallet a web browser wallet i'll always have them on a hardware that i'll connect to the software wallet so that i can gain access to the DeFi place and remember with this wallet you can essentially connect to pretty much most of the DeFi applications within the polka dot ecosystem it's a very connected uh, wallet so going back to the uh, dashboard we've taken a look at transport transport they also have this nft option so you can store nfts on this wallet also talisman in my opinion is truly a great wallet they pretty much have everything it's very simple as we've just demonstrated to use and to access uh, and of course you can add multiple uh, wallets but it is absolutely of the utmost importance that you write that seed phrase down correctly so that if you are um, on another computer or you are looking to gain access from somewhere other than the device you've already set up, you know, you need that wallet. Or if your device gets wiped or you accidentally wipe your um, uh, device, you will need that seed phrase to then gain access to this wallet that you've got your dot on. So that was kind of a bit of an overview on actually how to set this wallet up. My review of the Talisman wallet is, is actually a really good one. I do have my own personal Talisman wallets that I do use uh, to interact with Polkadot's DeFi ecosystem. And it is a very user-friendly, simple to use, and a kind of one-stop shop, all in one place, Polkadot wallet. I have previously um, said a while ago, before you had options like Talisman, Nova, and SubWallet, that actually Polkadot really could do with a, a, a great wallet. But being given the time to sort of explore the Polkadot ecosystem, the wallets that Polkadot has are absolutely fan fantastic polka.js in my opinion is not very user friendly at all it's very development friendly it's a great tool for developers or uh, people that really want to dive into sort of open gov and some of what's taking place there polka.dot has some amazing wallets like talisman wallet we've shown you a to b in regards to how to set this up what you need to do and i hope everybody enjoys exploring the polka.dot ecosystem and playing around with talisman wallet so that's all from me guys thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed this content a like is always appreciated so as a comment and i look forward to seeing you all in the next one Thanks all for watching. See you in the next.